guys, welcome back to Megan Dawson Ethereal Orb on YouTube. Um, I'm also Ethereal Orb on Facebook and Instagram. You can find me there. I also have a Facebook group that's Fluid Art Fanatics, and I'm on Podbean with my new um, podcast, um, Fluid Art Fanatic. And I just joined Twitter, or Fluid Art Fanatic. So if you are a Twitter, Twitter, -er, tweeter, Twitter, Twitter, -er, whatever it's called. Uh, whatever you are on Twitter, if you are, um, you can find me or share your link if that's easier to do. Um, I think that's everything. I hope that's everything. All the craziness. Um, so, today I am using a little bit of leftover paint and a couple of new colors I did not have mixed. Um, I have tons and tons of leftover paint that I need to use up, so I should not have mixed new paint, but I did. So... Um, in not my last video, but before that, if you saw it, I did a dirty pour and a flip or in a uh, flip and drag, and I asked everybody to mention in the video where they would stop. And goodness gracious, I missed something really cool in that, and everybody pretty much said about the same time. And my husband even said, how did you miss that? It was mountains with lava. I said, I don't know. So anyway, if there was a part where you would stop and I keep going, let me know. Because it's always fun to see. And I do think that talking while I'm pouring and sometimes just pouring as opposed to watching somebody else pour, your brain processes things differently. So anyway, share if you will. And if I mention a movie... I have a new game. You get to eat a piece of chocolate or a piece of caramel or buy a cake. And I promise to mention at least one movie, even if it does not fit in the theme of the video. So I'm going to do another dirty pour flip and drag. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever order you want to do that. So my dirty pour in the background, forgive me if I sneeze, my allergies are going nuts. Since we moved to Oklahoma, I have not had allergies until this year. This year they are going nuts. So my dirty pour background is going to be um, this pearl essence, silver, and um, this is um, Phthalo Blue Deep. Now the pearl white and the silver are um, creative inspirations. I ordered them, excuse me, when Jerry's had their crazy, crazy sale. Um, not sure if I would like them. And I gotta say, I really, really, really am liking them. They mix really, really well. They take the water and the medium very well, um, so I'm really happy with them. Okay, and then my flip and drag cup. <laughs> if I can keep this straight while I'm talking, we will be, we will be good. So my flip and drag cup are going to be. Woo, these are apple barrel, I think. This is not. This is basics. This is basics. Um, this is an apple barrel color. Yes. This is an apple barrel color, candy apple, wild iris, wild iris is so pretty. And then this is, I believe it's Laguna. It doesn't quite match, but there's Floetrol in here, which would make it lighter. So I'm almost positive this is Laguna. I have silicone, not in the pearl. I'm not sure about the silver. I'm pretty sure I have it in the blue. I have it in the green, the purple, the red. I do not have it in here because I used it for um, like a swirl, a, a swirl bottle bottom pour and um, I don't put silicone in those so and I don't really want to open it up and put silicone in it because I might want to use it for another swirl so there we have it Whew, all the talking out of the way time to pour so I'm going to do a we put I'm probably gonna want a bigger cup um, for this for the dirty pour background Back to my little rice selfie stick holder. Might be too close, but if I pull, see if I can pull the canvas away a little bit and have it still in focus. Actually, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to move my canvas back. Okay, I wanted to move my canvas back from the edge a little bit. I don't want a whole bunch of runoff. Um, and I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to have more runoff. I, it's since it's a bigger canvas, not more runoff, but you know, the runoff will be closer to the edges. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does or not. Does it matter if it makes sense? No, it doesn't. I don't take myself that seriously. <laughs> I take my pores seriously, but huh. okay, not necessarily my speaking. Okay, so. Doo -doo. 
I would like this to be pretty neutral. So I'm going to use quite a bit of this pearlescence. Although the silver is pretty, um, I mean it's a neutral, but it's pretty light, so I don't think it'll... I did not look to see how much I'm going to need. I have a feeling I'm going to need all of this. So let's just, let's just do this. Oh. And a little more blue. Okay. Put these off to the side. Let's get rid of all this white so I can use this cup again. Peel the paint out of it. Alright, so there is my dirty pour cup. Now I need to make my flip and drag. I've been trying to decide if I want how big I want my flip and drag cup to be. Because I don't think that's going to hold quite enough paint, since this is a larger canvas. And... I'll have one of these cleaned out, but for the sake of a flip and drag, I don't think it's going to matter. I'm not mixing in it. Um, I think this is going to be definitely too big, but um, I just won't fill it. I'm not... Flip and drags um, are not historically my best. They're more challenging for me for some reason than other, other styles. Partially because I sometimes just drag the cup right off the canvas. While it still has paint on it. It's fine to drag a cup off the canvas when it does not have paint on it. Okay. A little bit of red. We don't want to muddy the waters too much. A little bit more. I see, and I, I don't do enough. I think I've only done like three flipping drags. Maybe four. Oops. So um, oh, my paint's a little bit thicker. You can tell by how it's sitting in the cup, but that's okay. Because I don't want it to get muddy. Okay. Um, that's enough. So anyway, so estimating how much I need in my drag cup. Um, I'm, not, I'm not great at that yet. Oh, this is not my flip and drag cup. Look, I messed it up already. That's okay. Look, I am blocked. Now this is going to be a mess. Okay, am I in camera? Ooh, if you're just joining me, and this is your first video that you've watched on my channel, you probably think I'm a total nincompoop. That's alright, I would think that too. Sometimes I start talking and then I forget to think. Okay. So, now this is my dirty pork. Sheesh. And this blue is going to take over, I think. That's right. Because. Because, 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 because. She does. And I did not have enough paint. That was totally my fault for not double checking how much paint I needed for the size canvas. Totally my fault. Okay, so I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to tilt. What I might do is mix up some white paint real quick. Eh, actually, I think I have enough to cover. Not quite. Ugh, I don't want to get too zigzaggy. I do not like zigzaggy. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to mix up some white, some more of the pearl, and um, pour it right here. I will be right back. Okay, this is actually quite a pretty dirty pour. I'm almost a little sad to um, drag the cut through it. Ugh. 
move this back a little bit. My selfie stick holder is too close. Um, almost a little sad to do that. Because it actually is really pretty. Okay, let's... Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's just get that a little bit more like it's part of the painting and not an afterthought, which it totally was. Sorry, I'm going to drag this through it anyway, so. Okay, so hopefully this will give us an interesting pop of color. my flip and drag. Ended up being more of a flip cup, but it's okay. Okay. Probably could have poked a hole in that. You know what, let's torch real quick and then I'm going to tilt. I torched. The cells kind of made it a bit busy for me, but Let's see how I want to incorporate that into the rest. Okay, and here I'm going to pause. I'm actually going to take a moment and look at it and see what I think before I keep going. Okay, I kind of like it. It almost looks like a field of flowers in a sky. Um, I'm going to tilt just a little bit this way. I'm trying to get maybe some of this red more um, predominant over here. I don't want it to get too zigzaggy. Again, I'm not crazy about zigzaggy. So I think I'm going to do it. Whoops, I got my finger in it. A little tiny dirty pour right here because I want to cover up that white since it does look a little bit like um, a like a um, do -do 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 landscape field with flowers or something. I don't want to um, have that white there. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind it, but. I'm going to add a little bit of purple and a little bit of red. So I'd like a little bit more red. I'm going to try not to drip. Maybe just, eh, no, just those two colors. It's silly, I need a different way to put my camera. I guess when I have a bigger canvas. Okay, so I added a little red here. I hope you saw that. My phone decided to be goofy and stop recording. All right, so I'm going to do one thing and then I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to try and add a little bit of green to kind of make a little bit of a hill. So I'm just going to put some on a popsicle stick. Oops, I guess you can't see. And then most of it come off. And then just drag it through here. Because I don't want it to be too obvious that it was different. Wipe that off. Start here this time. There we go. Just to give the landscape a little bit more, um, you know, of curve instead of being a straight line. And I'm going to call that one. I'm going to call that one done. This does have a little bit. Let me add. I'm going to do that. I know I said I was done. I'm going to just add. Since this is white here. There we go. Let's 
something on that stick. Okay, now I am done. Do some close-ups real quick. Okay, so I apologize that you're having to look at this sideways, but um, it has to be landscape for YouTube. There we go. I did get some cells in there. I'm in the blue, white, and silver from some silicone in the silver. Oh, I think it was in the blue. I'm not sure. And there we go for the landscape. Kind of pretty. Not what I had in my head, but with pores, it very rarely is. So there we go. Did I stop in time? You'll have to let me know if you would have stopped sooner or kept going. Um, that was really fun. Everybody kind of put their time stamp on when they would have stopped in the last one. Although I must say, after watching it, I would have stopped a lot sooner, too. Um, so anyway, let me know. And let's see. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There, I mentioned a movie. So have some chocolate, have some caramel. Have something sweet and yummy. And we will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. If you want notified when I post other videos, I promise I'm not always a total nincompoop. And sometimes I actually do know what I'm doing. <laughs> we will see you next time, guys.